Hello everyone, it's Paul from This Designer and today I'm going to show you my favourite pen. So I've been on the lookout for the smoothest pen I can find and I think that I've finally found it. This is by far the most smoothest pen and the most, most reliable pen that I've ever used and I can't really see myself ever changing from this setup. All it is, is it's just a hacked pen. It's a uh, Fisher Space Pen refill and this is a Zebra F701 pen. And all we do is we take out the refill that's already in the Zebra and we put in the Fisher Space Pen. That is literally it. Uh, we tested the Pilot GTEC C4 um, a few years back and that was pretty smooth but um, you know a few times the lines break you find yourself rewriting words stuff doesn't come out as reliably as I would want it to and I found that to be the case for quite a lot of the pens that I've tested um, the jet stream was was pretty nice but again it started to foul me a little bit and it just become really frustrating to use this I've been using this for about six months and honestly I, I can't actually remember a time where the ink delivery has actually fouled on me. Uh, it is incredibly reliable and it is really really smooth. These refills are about five pound each. And this is yeah this is last this is the only one I've bought and it's lasted me yeah a good six months. So they do last a long time. Um, the actual Fisher bullet space pen, which this is meant for, I think it's about 18 pound. It's a really, really nice looking pen. If you, you know, if, if you would like that pen, uh, then get it. It's, it's a, you know, there's nothing wrong with using that. But if you do want to go for a little bit of a more cheaper option, then this is kind of a, this is a way to do it. Yeah, the Fisher refill is about four to five pounds. You can probably get nothing cheaper if you buy them in bulk, which I'll probably do next time. And the Zebra F701 is about seven to eight pound. You can take out the plastic cap that comes on the uh, on the Zebra. Some people suggest doing it. To be honest with you, I've just kept it in there and I haven't really noticed any difference. It's just a little bit more stiffer to push um, up and down, which I actually like. I don't like it being so flimsy because if it's in my pocket and it accidentally gets pushed down then all the ink kind of you know comes out in my pocket it's a bit annoying so if you do want to take out the plastic cap all you need to do is just get like a little pin or just something small uh, and you'll just feel it just on the edge here and you just push it and there you go and that is the little that is the little plastic cap and you can take that out and it's definitely much more easier to kind of push this up and down but as i said i actually like it to be a little bit more a little bit more stiffer and it's really really smooth you know it does not fail and even if you do it pretty lightly you know the ink will still come out I and mean, this is really light to the touch it's really nice and smooth you know it just never fails really you never have to go back on a line that you write so yeah I highly recommend it it's definitely gonna be my pen of choice it's pretty cheap I mean you know as long as you don't lose the actual F701 case so that's it. If you'd like to, if you'd like me to test any other pens, put it in the comment section and be sure to subscribe.